it's Carrie from Rock and G Farm. Today I am going to plant some onion seeds to get started under my grow lights so that they'll have some time to start while it's still cold and icy and snowy outside and then we'll transplant them out into the garden. Today I'm going to do some Walla Walla onions and some OG Tokyo long white bunching onions. So I'm going to do two different types of onions. Um, on the um, bunching white onions, they, you have to make sure that you have um, friable soil, which means that your soil has to be real loose and not compact. You want it to be able to hold a form, but it, you don't want it to be like clay. It needs to be real light and fluffy for your um, bunching onions to grow and to germinate well. Um, the Walla Walla onions I've got, they are uh, pelletized so you can see them. The little redness in there, just a little covering on there so that they're easy, easier to see and easier to um, see where you're planting in your soil. And what I'm going to do is um, get my soil into my little food containers. Guys, it's okay. When you're first starting out, don't worry about going and buying those big 72 cell um, trays or anything like that. You, use what you've got. It's okay. It's all right. You can use these. These are food grade because food came in them. I know that they're going to be okay. I'm going to poke some holes in the bottom and then just stick them under my grow lights. And with them in these little trays right here, I can really kind of tuck them in around everything else that's in there and not have to use more space for the big cell trays that you would use. A couple of things that you want to know about your onions. Now, Walla Walla onions are supposed to be long day onions. But according to the packet, it says, I can now grow them in my garden. So, I'm going to see if I can grow Walla Walla onions in my garden because I am in the intermediate or neutral zone for onions. And you're going, what the heck are you talking about? Of course, this is the first time I've planted onions and I've done some research. Onions, which I did not know, there's different there's different types of onions according to the amount of daylight they need. You'll have um, short, uh, short day onions, which need 10 to 12 hours of sunlight a day. You'll have intermediate or neutral day onions that need 12 to 14 hours of sunlight a day or long day onions, which need 14 to 16 hours a day. Now, I am going to put a picture on here and it's gonna have your zones and it'll show you where, like the top of the United States, that's your long day onions. The very middle of the United States, that's your intermediate and neutral zone. And the very bottom, that includes like Florida, Louisiana, going over to um, a little bit of um, um, California, those are your um, short day onions. Now, what will happen? which is 14 to 16 hours of sunlight. I'm using those in my intermediate neutral zone, which should be um, 12 to 14 hours of sunlight a day. What this is gonna do, if you use a different onion seed than what is for your zone, your bulbs on those onions will just be smaller because how much sunlight they get is how much big the bulb of the onion will become. So I'm hoping that since they say I can grow these in my garden now, I'm hoping these Walla Walla onions will 
be a little bit bigger. They say they're about two, they can be about two pounds. Um, so that's pretty that's pretty good, um, according to what the back of this says. So anyway, when you go and buy your onion seeds, if you look on your packet, which this does not say that on my packet, it just says you can grow them in your area now. Um, it should say um, short day intermediate or neutral or it should say long day and it should say that on there of course I did google some uh, on Walla Walla and it never really told me long day short day or anything it just kept bringing me pictures of Walla Walla onions but if you want to google you could try your google search on the onion seeds that you're getting and then that way you would know um, how much sunlight you will need and of course if you get the, a different seed than your zone just remember that the onion bulb is just going to be smaller because it's not going to get the recommended amount of sunlight. So now I'm just going to use my seed starting potting mix. I'm going to put it in my um, two food grade containers because you don't have to spend a lot of money to start gardening. Just start. Just start. Don't worry about it. Don't worry what somebody says. You don't have 72. So um, trace, silly you, that's not, that's, it's okay, use what you got, these are food grade, food came in them, we know they're going to be safe for our food, so that's what we're going to do. I do need to get a knife and cut the bottom of these up, so let me step over and grab one. So all I'm just going to do is just put a couple of little slits, probably oh, shouldn't do that on the, on the countertop, so that one room countertop slits just to make sure that we don't um, end up drowning our seeds. And we're just going to grab our soil which is um, very airy. You can see how airy that is. That's what you need. Potting mix um, has a lot more um, formed um, soil and it's not as airy. You want the airy soil so that your seeds don't have to push so hard to germinate and push their leaves up through the ground. So that's what we're doing now. See, the one thing you do, you need to make sure that you, if you have any big barks or anything like that, you want to get them out. There's no reason for that to be in. And, um, so I'm just going to continue putting my soil in and hopefully these will be ready in a couple of weeks. Got probably eight to ten weeks left before um, our last frost. So I just wanted to get these in because I know onions take a little bit longer and I've kind of waited a little too long but hopefully we'll we'll get them in there and get some some production from this. Just gonna do that and I'm probably gonna have water coming out the bottom. Since I cut the bottom but that's okay and we just want to mix that water in there because when you put your seeds in it's easier to put your seeds in soil that's already moist um, instead of putting it in the dry soil and then watering on top because that will displace some of your seeds and sometimes they'll all go slide to one side and then they're all piled up in one little area and it's just it's not, it's not really good. It just makes, makes it harder for them to germinate. All right, so I think we're doing good. We don't want the soil to be dripping, which that might be a little too much water. Okay, you see that? Way too much water, so I'm gonna put that over here. You don't wanna be able to squeeze that out like that. That's too much water in there. I would have drowned my onion seeds. So I'm just gonna do this and put some more in here. Woo. Making mud pies again. Gotta go watch that video about me making mud. Okay, so um, we were. Ju I just squeezed the extra water out of this, put it into this. Um, I'm gonna just put just a little bit more water in here and start kind of getting it mixed in. There we go. I've been like making a mess. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have been better if I did this in a big bowl instead of my little bitty pans. I'm just gonna 
fluff it back up. So you don't wanna have the fluffy soil and, and then mash it down and make it hard. On the bunching onions, bunching onions go in bunches. So you don't go one in each hole, you just make a little hole. I'm gonna use my knife. And I'm gonna kind of plant them kind of close together in here because when I get ready to plant them outside in the garden, I'll just pull them up and kind of spread them out just a little bit more. But I'll still keep them in bunches because they are bunching onions. You don't want to go real deep. Most of the time, it's just they just need to stay right almost on top of the soil with just a very light dusting of either vermiculite or your soil. Um, so we know that that's our bunching onions. And now we're going to come and do our walla walla, which are supposed to be able to be grown in my garden here, according to the back of the package. So we'll see. It'll be fun just to do something anyway. inch is what they say. So I'm just going to kind of make a little line there, a little line here, and one right here. And then I'm going to just put the seeds right in there. Now these are pelletized. Like I said, it's when they cover them with a the coating so that you can see them and handle them easier. It's supposed to also help with the germination. I might go in and put them just a little thicker because when I'm ready to go and transplant them to the garden, I can separate them and then plant more. So I think, I'm, I think that's what I'm going to do, just plant them a little thick. today in this video and make what you have beautiful. 